macOS Sequoia does not have this type of convenient sleep scheduling tool anymore, but I'll show you an easy workaround. Why did Apple remove such a basic function? I'll never understand. But you can easily schedule a repeated sleep pattern by using Terminal. If you're not familiar with Terminal, don't worry. This is so easy, even my mom can do it. Here's my little cheat sheet for the command to set a sleep schedule. You can copy-paste this directly from the description of this video. The first part here sets a repeat sleep event to happen on your computer. This part here sets the days of the week. I currently have it set up for every day of the week, but if you wanted to do weekdays only, for example, you would remove the last two letters. So basically, you'll first list the letters for the days of the week when you want your computer to sleep automatically. Then, you'll set the time in a 24-hour format. 1 p.m. would be 13, 5 p.m. would be 17, etc. I'm going to set it for 9 p.m., so in 24-hour format, that's 21. For all you folks used to a.m. and p.m. times, a.m. times are the same in 24-hour format, and for p.m. times, just add 12, and you have your time in a 24-hour format. Next, you'll open Terminal on your Mac, copy-paste the command, and confirm it with your password. I'm pretty sure you need an admin account to set this, and you're done. If you want to check what's currently scheduled on your Mac, you can use this command here to get a list of scheduled power events. Mine is now showing the sleep event we just scheduled, and some other hidden power events. The top one refers to Apple's analytic services, the ones below are calendar apps travel time calculations, and the last two are timers for the Do Not Disturb feature. All basic functions of your Mac, but usually hidden from the user. Lastly, if you want to cancel the sleep schedule, you can do it with this command here. Again, I'll include these in the description so you can simply change your dates and times and copy-paste the command. So there you have it. If someone can tell me why Apple went from this to the current model, please tell me. And now that you were able to automatically schedule your Mac to sleep, slap that like button below. It makes my YouTube channel very, very happy. Thanks, y'all. I hope to see you in the next tutorial. And Apple, fix your OS, please.